What's good, people? Cosmic Lou here. Happy Friday. Man, I know I've been on this video game kick the past couple days, man, but there's, you know, comic book news has been slowed down. There's some good books that have come out. I'm trying to get to them. I'm waiting for some arcs to get done so I can cover them all at one time. And I'm, I'm on this video game thing right now. Gamescom is going on over in Europe. A lot of good stuff coming out. But I want to talk about buyer's remorse real quick when it comes to video games. You know, I recently got rid of uh, God of War. Now, it's not a bad game. It's a beautiful game. It plays well. It has everything going for it. It's a great game. Everybody loves it. Except for me, apparently. And I, I got it. I played it. I thought I would really, really dig the game. But it turns out that I didn't. I just couldn't get into it. I mean, it had a great story, great graphics. I just could not get down with it, you know? And people people that hear that I bought it and got rid of it like, oh man, you just, you're just gonna miss out on a great game. I'm like, dude, it just wasn't me, you know? It's like, the, the shoe just didn't fit. It just didn't fit in my wheelhouse. So I got rid of it, you know? I got 35 bucks out of it. I'm not mad, you know? That's better price than, than GameStop would have given me. So, you know, some people, look, they just don't get it why I bought it and got rid of it. I just, it just wasn't my flavor. It's kind of like Call of Duty uh, World War II. I got the game. I enjoyed it for the little while that I had it. It just didn't stick with me, you know? Who knows? Black Ops 4 may be different. Different developer, different feel. Same genre, who knows? I'm, I may give that a shot. I may rent it, go to Redbox, hit it up. And uh, <laughs> another game that I bought, thanks to Hype, was uh, Injustice 2, a fighting game. And I'm not a real big fighting game fan. I'm not a real big fighting game player. I got it, I got sucked up in the hype. What can I say? I got rid of that game. <laughs> I had buyer's remorse for all of those. You know, but luckily I had an out. That's one reason why I like buying physical copies. And now the, the debate as of late is physical copy versus digital copy. I'm usually gonna go toward physical, you know, because I at least like trying to get a little bit of money out of my investment, out of something that I paid, you know, 50 bucks for, 60 bucks for. I like getting something back out of it if I can. But if I buy a game and I just don't dig it and I buy it digitally, I'm stuck. And that's it. So I'm not gonna buy some digital lessons on a heavy sale. That's just the way that I go. And you know, like I said, it's good. The digital versus physical copy thing has been talked about for a while. And I know that some consoles are gonna go strictly to digital content, which is unless they drop that price, they just they're gonna take a loss from me. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay as physical as I can because I don't like having buyer's remorse. I don't like being stuck with a game I don't like. So, that's just a quick rant that I had. It's the weekend. I get to hang out and hopefully have some fun this weekend. Who knows? And let me know what you think. You know, digital versus physical. I know it's it, it's a hot button topic with, with gamers and, and software developers and stuff like that. My whole thing is that if you're going to charge me 60 bucks for a physical game and you're paying for production and you're paying for uh, labor on that game to have it made and put into a disc form in the box and all the rest of that stuff and you pay, give, I'm paying 60 bucks for that but I'm also paying 60 bucks for a digital copy it, that's just a software that's going to sit on my hard drive why am I paying the same price? drop that price because I'm not paying for production of a disc all I want is the game on my hard drive What's the deal with that? Let me know what you think. All right. So happy weekend. Till next time. It's Cosmic Lou. I'm out.